Hi, my name's Mike Hart, and I am the president of the Haverhill City Council. I want to take this opportunity to thank Haverhill Community Television for the fine public service they offer our community. As many of you are aware, each Tuesday night, Haverhill Community Television brings our city council meetings into your homes. This service allows many of you to see how your government functions without having to leave the comfort of your home. And for many of you who are unable to make such a trip, it just provides a fine opportunity to see how your government works for you. It's a wonderful public service. We are so fortunate to have Haverhill Community Television in our community. Shalom, I'm Rabbi Ira Karin of Temple Emmanuel, located at 514 Main Street here in Haverhill. I want to take a moment to compliment Haverhill Community Television, HCTV, for all that they do to enhance our community life. In the Jewish community, they have made it possible for the shut-ins to be able to virtually attend the annual Yom Kippur Kol Nidre service, the holiest night of the year. In addition, HCTV has provided coverage of various events at the temple, which has uh, stirred discussions and conversations among those not only in the Jewish community but outside the Jewish community as well. They provide uh, nonprofit organizations the opportunity to air their programs, including the Haverhill Rotary Club, which holds an annual TV auction, which raises money that then goes back to the nonprofits in our community, making our community even stronger. Everybody at HCTV, uh, beginning with Darlene Beal and the entire staff, must be complimented. For HCTV helps to make Haverhill the great city that it is. Hello, I'm Chief Alan DeNaro of the Haverhill Police Department, and I'm here to thank the Haverhill Community Television for all of the wonderful things that they have done in our community uh, over the past four and a half years that I've been here. Uh, they have helped us do a lot of public service announcements for drunk driving, for safety on ice, um, community awareness pieces. Uh, they have partnered with us time and time again. They have been uh, wonderful to work with, and we have found that their uh, ability to report has been very refreshing and without agenda, and we thank them for that. My name is Steve Bedore, I'm the State Senator for the 1st Essex District, which includes the great city of Haverhill, uh, and I'm happy to be part of this uh, program and part of everything that Haverhill Community Television does. We film, uh, Senator Bruce Tarr and I film a monthly show called Beacon Hill Beat, and we could have filmed that show, quite frankly, anywhere in Massachusetts, but we chose Haverhill and Haverhill Community Television because of the professionalism. Uh, in, the, in the five years that I've been in the State Senate, I've appeared on a number of different shows uh, as part of Haverhill Community Television, and every show uh, is done professionally. Uh, and quite fr it's really one of the best uh, cable television uh, organizations, I think, anywhere uh, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I'm State Senator Bruce Tarr, the Assistant Minority Leader of the Massachusetts State Senate, and I want to add my thanks to the staff and the volunteers at HCTV for all of the good work that you do in getting critical information out to people in our various communities. Senator Bedour and I a while ago wanted to do a public access show. We wanted to talk about what was happening on Beacon Hill and we wanted to make sure that citizens in our communities had access to the decision makers here in our state capitol. We turned to Haverhill Community Television because we knew that the staff and the volunteers would make sure that we were flexible, responsive and produced a high quality program that met the needs of the people we were trying to reach. They did that and more. It's a high-class operation and one that we're very fortunate to have, and so there is little more to say than thanks for a great job. We look forward to continuing to work with you.
Hello, I'm Bishop Franklin Hobbs from Rehoboth Lighthouse, Full Gospel Church, 409 Washington Street in Haverhill. And we're very proud to be a part of the Haverhill Community Television Program. A lot of people, especially our senior citizens, they can tune in and share in our services just as much as being there. It's been a real blessing to me. I've been able to minister to Protestant, Catholic, and Jew through this medium. I think it's an excellent opportunity to reach those that can't get out like they would like to. My blessings and prayers go with the television station, and I'm very proud to be a part of Haverhill Community Television. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Raleigh Buchanan. I have the privilege of being superintendent of schools of the Haverhill Public Schools. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Community Television and tell you what a great bunch of people they are and the kind of services they provide for our school system. Um, we uh, are continually uh, wanting to expand our coverage to the community and um, I think that we're very fortunate to be in a community that we have a high class community TV program and I commend everybody uh, for that effort and I'd like to ask you to continue supporting community television. Hi, I'm uh, Reverend Dr. Gregory E. Thomas. I'm the pastor of Calvary Baptist Church, uh, 13 Ashland Street in Haverhill, and uh, I'm excited to be uh, able to say a few words about the importance of Haverhill Community Television. One particular time that stands out uh, for me was after 9-11, when then uh, Mayor Jim Rurack uh, and others uh, at the station convened a small group of us to really talk about uh, what had happened to us as a nation, what was happening to us uh, as a community, and how we would react to it. And I think back to those times, and, and although you can have the, the major uh, network stations doing things, I think that it was a, an excellent thing that happened, an excellent idea, an excellent resource that we have here. I'm also excited about the fact that uh, members of my congregation have been able to kind of find their wings working here, uh, Julia DeVoe, Warren Medley, uh, Kevin Coleman, and because of that we are able to also have some of our services broadcast, and uh, I have found that those services have been viewed by many people in the community as I'm told as I walk through the community. So I I'm so excited about just the resource that's here, and I urge uh, all that can to continue to support uh, something that is so valuable and to help those who have decided that uh, the freedom of speech and the sharing of information is vital to our freedoms. Haverhill Community Television has been a tremendous asset and a tremendous resource for the people of the city of Haverhill. We have been fortunate to have the services provided uh, by Haverhill Community Television, whether it be Frank Novak's uh, Point of Reference show, which brings in so many from the community to talk about uh, issues that are important to the people of Haverhill, or whether it be election night coverage, which has become so important to reaching out and, and informing uh, the people of Haverhill on election results. Uh, I've been fortunate to work with Haverhill Community Television over the course of the last several years, and I can tell you that uh, it's been nice to see the, the evolution of Haverhill Community Television and the role that it plays in our community. Uh, we, uh, years ago, had two daily newspapers and a local radio station, and that's changed over time. And as that change has occurred, Haverhill Community Television has stepped up and, and filled the void in providing local access, community programming, and uh, an opportunity for all of us to tune in and see what's happening in and around our community and in our neighborhoods. 